Throughout this course, I have learned a great deal of Confucian knowledge. Important aspects I took away were the different good natures people had. Mencius describes that humans have inborn dispositions to be naturally good. One example I reasoned with is Schwinn's filial story, where his parents were so wicked, yet he was still able to love them and be a kind person. Mencia says that Schwinn was able to do this because humans have a natural conscious knowing and that conscious ability. This is similar to the example of a baby falling into a well and the innate good nature of someone to save the baby. There is an understanding that humans have a universal love towards all beings and things within the universe. There is a sense of moral commitment when it comes to filial piety. In a more general term, filial piety means to be good to one's parents, to take care of one's parents, and to engage in good conduct towards parents as well as outside the home to bring a good name to one's parents and ancestors. It shows love, respect, and support. Its goal is to reach harmony. Doing so can be taught through five cardinal relationships. These relationships include 10 reciprocal duties, including parents and children, ruler and subjects, husband and wife, old and young, as well as friends. Within these five cardinal human relationships, parents show kindness to children and children show filial devotion to parents. Rulers show humanness to subjects as subjects show loyalty to their rulers. Husbands show righteousness to their wives as the wife shows achievements to the husband. Elder siblings show amiability to younger siblings while younger siblings show discreet obedience to their elders. Lastly, elders show consideration to juniors, while juniors show deference to their elders. These five human relationships help people to think in society and reach the meditative needs of harmony. As a reflection, I try to reason with this idea as I think about my own family and place in this world. It is much easier to be happy and see the good rather than harping over all of the bad that has come into my life. A form of meditation that I relate to is painting. Although I am not the best, I try hard to improve my skills. When I paint, I try not to think about how I will mess up, but rather what my mind feels. The colors do not have to be perfect and neither does my technique. I have decided to paint a picture of my parents the day they got married. I wanted to reflect my filial love to them and see that, see if that had an impact on my meditative skill. I focused on the good and happiness of their features and allowed that happiness to flow through myself. It is hard to see my parents so happy, especially after losing my dad, but prevailing through this healing meditation of painting has helped me understand the idea of Confucius knowing and ability. It is hard to know my dad is gone, but to stay true to myself and not let sad or harmful emotions arise means I am truly focused. I am not entirely happy with the outcome of this painting. However, the breathing skills and focus has brought me true peace. In my painting, I focus on the colors and light. I apply it to where it feels correct. I focus on my breathing and allow my fingers to control the brush. There is a peaceful emphasis when I paint. My sole intention is on what I am doing in that moment. For myself, there is no planning. It just ends up the way it is. Sometimes I get so caught up that I feel like I haven't done my best. However. I reflect on these paintings and know that I reached harmony while doing them. The idea of ultimate peace is able to be reached 
while doing this calming task. I do think about why I'm painting about. I believe that I have respect for my parents and that by giving back to them and holding on to my dad's memory, I can achieve that harmony. When I painted this, I thought about my dad and the good times that we had together before he passed. I think about the love that my mother and father have given to me and have reflected on me to be such a kind and giving person. My parents have given me the opportunity to succeed in life and have given me every resource imaginable. One way to uphold filial piety in this sense is to ultimately give back to them. And through this painting, I have decided that this will be the perfect gift to give my mother so she can come to harmony within herself. I understand it's not easy being a single mom at this point in her life, but I do everything to try and make her happy. I've done well in school and I go to an amazing college, not to mention I work hard at my multiple jobs and I want to help her in any way that I possibly can because she's done so much for me during these very difficult times. But for now, I will let you listen to this beautiful music as I paint my parents. What I have learned from this course is that people are innately good. There is a harmony within human nature and people have this kindness within them. And we see this through their smiles and within photographs. And it was such a pleasure to be able to show that through my parents and especially my dad. He has taught me so much with being such a wonderful person in his life and it has definitely spoken to me. And being able to reach such a wonderful meditation and painting him and seeing him smile really makes me truly happy. So thank you very much. <laughs>